meaning that under the simplest assumptions, the measured mass of Higgs could mean that the universe is unstable and destined to fall apart. So basically, according to numerous physicists, careful calculations and computations, we're all doomed. The Quran, which dates back 1400 years ago, substantiates the predictions and calculations of physicists such as Hawking, Lichen and Alenach. The potential of the universe collapsing and being wiped out is real. The creator of the universe is well aware of what he created. But it's not all bad news. The Quran then goes on to assure us that God prevents the universe from collapse when he writes in the Quran, God holds the heaven from falling on the earth. Furthermore, the Quran states that God prevents the universe from being wiped out. God holds the heavens and the earth lest they are wiped out. So what will the end of the world look like exactly and what part do the Higgs boson particles play in all this? In 1960, the British scientist Peter Higgs predicted the existence of tiny particles that we cannot see but that are, in fact, in us and all around us. These particles are responsible for... All right, guys, peace of Christ to all of you. Today we are going to show you how the Muslims, they flip the truth to false and the false to be the truth. They are using what is called science, mixing it with the Quran, which is nothing but a book of stupidity and fiction. Here you will see that each time she speak about science, she mirrors some names of scientists to make to convince you that Quran and Islam is a scientist, is like a, a very scientific religion. But if we go in details in every verse she mentioned to us and she quote for us, we will see how the Muslims always they try to fool us. So we will go step by step and I will go to different verse because different video because they are connected. In this video, this woman, she speak about the Quran is speaking about the graffiti. Suddenly the Quran is a book speak about the graffiti. How this happened, we do not know. Physics professors and teachers alike compare the movement of spatial bodies to a child's bounce on a trampoline. And in verse 11 of chapter 86 of the Quran, it is written, by the heaven which is characterized by its bounce, the Quran swears by this unique characteristic function of the heavens. See? So now this is about the bounce of the heaven and this is about science. But the fact if we go to the Quran and this is their Muslim interpretation, we will see that this is about nothing but about the rain. Muhammad, God, supposed to swear him by how the rain is. Look at this miracle. Always rain. There's more rain to come. That's all. And this is their interpretation for the last 1400 years. And this is how Muhammad, he taught the Muslims. And this is how it is. Always, suddenly, this is about the bounce of the heaven. So the Muslims' manipulation for the verses of the Quran is done in purpose and they are cut red-handed with their false uh, uh, lies in order to fool you and to make you believe in such a lie. Please invite everybody and tell everybody that we are uh, live on air. We are early, but no problem because I, I decide to make short videos so you can guys, you can download it and post it in your page or in Facebook or in YouTube, doesn't matter where. Let us expose the lies of the Muslims. And when we say the lies of the Muslims, we are we are not insulting anyone. We are just saying the truth. This is absolute lie. Everything this woman she said is absolute lie. And we can go one by one and we will see how the lie happened. As an example, she said that Allah, it is he who hold the sky from falling down. But she will not tell you that Allah, he mentioned something totally different. The God of the Islam believe or teach that the sky, the earth is a flat. And in that earth, Allah, he made the sky as a roof. And Allah, he is holding that roof from falling down. So the lies they try to present to us, and we will show you with, 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 the, with the clear details and clear proof that this is what the Quran is talking about and what the Muslim trying to say to us is absolutely nothing but false. And here we notice the shame that why somebody, he is a believer in God, he tried to fabricate stories his God himself did not mention because Islam is satanic religion based on deception. Otherwise, I cannot find any excuse for somebody to lie and to say something is not there, and yet he claimed to be religious. And look what they do. They hire a rich woman. She is not even a Muslim. This is a program paid by, by the Muslims. Now let us see how the, how the heaven and the earth in Islam is. All of us, we knew that the Muslims, they are ordered to, play in the direct, to pray in the direction of the Kaaba. And the Kaaba is just a small room in the middle of nowhere in Mecca. So if you live in America, if you live in America, supposedly you will face the direction of the Kaaba. If you live in China, let us say this is the east. 
this is the east and this is the west <clears throat> so if you are a person who live in the west or living in the west in the in the east still you have to face the Kaaba now how that is possible if Islam is not teaching that the earth is flat and we can show you tons of verses saying that however before we go there the earth according to Islam is a flat earth and Allah he made the heaven in the top of it which is the sky as a roof and Allah he made this roof seven roofs the Muslim they lie to you and they say the seven roofs is, is about the layers of the atmosphere which is which is a lie because the layers of the atmosphere are not seven secondly the Quran say clearly that Allah created in the lowest heavens the star so how those are the layers of the atmosphere if the stars are in them so the Muslims they try their best to fool you now depend how stupid you are or how educated or how much person you are who search and study before let somebody fool you now let us go to verses you know we don't do what the Muslims do fabricate we show you what the Muslims believe from their own books from their own interpretation from their own explanation we don't do what the Muslims do take a note of that and if you are first time here I challenge you to show me once ever I say something it's not mentioned by Muslims in their books if we go in the Quran <clears throat> How Allah he hold the sky from fading down the woman she said the, this woman she said that Allah is holding the sky from fading down okay how he is holding the sky why you don't tell us why you don't give us details or it's just a statement to fool people and, 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 and to make fun of the mind of a human being for the sake of deception if we go in the Quran let us switch to Arabic <clears throat> Deception is amazing, my friend, and and uh, and uh, and Satan have no limit. If we go first, the Quran teach that the sky used to be on the floor, which means in the on the earth, and Allah He lifted up. If we go to chapter eighty-eight, verse number eighteen, you will see the following. And remember, this is the translation of Muslims, not my translation. All right, and at the sky, how it was. It, it raised high so raised actually raised high from where raised it was it was on the earth and Allah he raised above and then here you will see another mistake and at the mountains how they are fixed firm the Quran actually teach that uh, uh, the, the mountains are placed on the on the top of the earth and if you go in the verse after you can change any translation you want I don't care really here you will see it says in verse number 20 how the earth how it is spread now is it really saying spread if we go to the interpretation to see how how false the muslim translation in english we will go this is chapter 88 verse number 18 and as you see this is muslim interpretation not mine i have nothing to do with it all right we go here and the earth how it was laid out flat do you see it this is tafsir ajalalain ajalalain is not a christian person ajalalain is one of the biggest scholars in the history of islam so why they lie to us they try to make the quran is a book of science when the quran is a stupid book teaching false information allah he raised the sky as a roof in the top of the earth allah he made the earth flat allah he placed the mountains as nails in the earth as we see here in the different verse in the quran Read with me carefully. Well, Jibalu Autadan, chapter 78, verse number 7. You know, I, I, I'm not even showing you my interpretation for the verses or even my own translation. Remember that. I'm showing you what the Muslims in their books, in their universities, in their mosque, they teach. So what they show you in their own videos in YouTube, this is just a sake of deception. Mountains are embedded as pigs in the ground. And this is absolutely stupid statement from the God of Islam if he is exist because mountains are coming from the ground not embedded in the ground you can change the translation however to make it simple and easy to show you what the Muslims believe about this verse we go again to the interpretation who knows Islam better than the Muslims right that's what they say but not those Muslims who post on YouTube the real scholars who exist since 
all days those are people who say the truth as it is about Islam they try their best to explain to you without being in fear of being exposed to science because at that time they cannot nobody can prove that the Quran is a stupid book so now we go if we go in chapter uh, 78 uh, ver uh, verse number seven we will see the following all right witness with me the crimes against humanity all right and the mountains pages with which the earth is tied down like a tent are tied down with pages and this is what the Quran is teaching so look how they try to make Islam is about science and how Islam is explaining to you how the universe is exist now she mentioned something else that the sky is not fading down let me show you something the Quran said as long we are talking about this do you know that the Quran explained because she mentioned in the, in the other video the graffiti if you remember here there's one of the video it's called how Islam how Quran explain the graffiti or the video here it's called what causes the graffiti now if we go here and we see in the Quran we will find the following how Allah explained the graffiti which is very funny and very stupid again as usual I'm trying to make my video short as much as you know uh, I can so you, you know it, it doesn't take you uh, uh, you know it doesn't take you long to share it and to understand it all right Let us see. Alam tara alam yaro illa tayr. Alam yaro illa tayr musakharatin fi jawi sama ima yumsikuhunna illa Allah. Let us see what this verse is saying. Chapter 16, verse number 79. Remember, she said that Quran explained to us the graffiti. How birds they stay in the sky. Let us see how the birds stay in the sky according to the Quran. Chapter 16, verse number 79. Here we go. Bingo. Don't they look at the birds, he, you know, held poised in the midst of the air and the sky? Nothing is holding them but the power of Allah. So the Muslim, they say to us that Islam explained the graffiti, but according to Muhammad, the reason the birds are not falling down because Allah is holding them. Is that true? Is that science? Is that physics? Or, or this is stupidity? So look how they manipulate the verses for you, trying to make what is a stupid something smart. What is garbage, something amazing. So don't ever let Muslims fool you with their science. And we can continue. I can show you tons of verses from everything she said. It is false. But because I promise not to make the video long, please share the video with your friends. Subscribe to our channel. Download the video. So we will make another video maybe in an hour or two. And I promise you to make more and more video. Maybe maybe uh, uh, Facebook is a good move so we can do better. And we, instead of staying for many hours, we make short video, you download it. And if you do not know how to download videos from Facebook, by the way, you can go to YouTube, type how to download videos from Facebook. There's many videos explaining to you how easy it is. All right. Thank you very much. Don't forget again to subscribe. And we will be back soon with a new video exposing the lies which they try to sell to us because they think we are stupid but absolutely we are not and we will not let that, that happen thank you very much god bless you and again share the video and tell your friends about our channel this is a christian prince love you all and we love the muslims too and we are not against you as a muslim we want to share the truth with you for the lord the messiah he said the truth will set you free see you soon again bye bye